product um, that I've been using loads in lockdown um, and it's the Environ Revival Mask. It's all about getting results and it's the closest thing that you can get to skin needling for you to use at home. So skin needling is all about the growth factors of the skin and which basically it mimics an attack on your skin so then your skin produces more collagen and elastin which obviously helps with smoothing, firming and an amazing anti-aging look. Um, so it's actually got three acids in. I've just done my normal skincare routine, so pre-cleanse, um, cleanser, toner, and then I've done a little bit of rolling. I'm just gonna do a little bit more rolling on just areas that I am concerned about. So how you would use the mask um, depends on how far up the Environ range you are. You can use it if you're not on the Environ range, but just literally put it on. So clean, clean skin, apply it to your skin, leave it on for about 20 minutes and take it off and then apply your active um, moisturizers. Um, see how your skin reacts to that. You might find it is a little bit tingly. If your skin is fine with that, try it again, maybe the next night, the next night after that, just leaving it on for 20 minutes. If that's fine, you can actually build up to sleeping in it. Um, you can do it one or two ways, so you can cleanse your skin, put it on clean, leave it on, so, which is what I'm going to do now, and then just before bed, then I'll put my active ingredients over the top of it. Or you can cleanse your skin, get it all ready, put your active moisturisers on, as long as you then wait 20 minutes for all of those to absorb, and then put your mask on just before bed, and then sleep in it. Do not roll a with it beforehand unless you are high up the range and you've used it quite a lot before so you know that your skin can sort of handle it. It will it will tingle a little bit, um, but that's a good thing because we want your skin to sort of produce more collagen and elastin. So like I said, I'm just gonna sort of run over areas that I'm more concerned of. That's why I look a little, little bit pink um, because I've already rolled it once, but I'm just gonna go over sort of lip and eye area where I am a bit more concerned about. And with the mask, you can actually take it right over the eye area as well, because it does have an amazing smoothing effect. So if you do miss that area out, you will notice it a bit more. So I've just popped a little bit on the back of my hand, then sort of some on the brush, and then I'm gonna work it into my skin. I know I do do this different sort of depending on what I've done with my routine at night so sometimes I do put it over my actives and then sometimes I do it like this just totally depends I'm just gonna take a little bit more no, I'll never forget that day. No, no. And then work it in with the brush. So like I said, if you've not used it before, then do sort of test how your skin is with it first. Don't just go straight into leaving it on overnight and definitely don't go straight into rollering first if you've got a roller and you've not used it before. Um, so put it on clean skin, leave it on for about 20 minutes and then take it off and do that for a few nights if your skin feels okay. And then like I said, then you can build up to sleeping in it. So you can see I have gone right up close to the eye. So that is tingling now, um, which is perfectly fine. You, 
you don't want your skin to get used to what you're using, which is why I'm sort of with Environ because there's always somewhere to go with it. There's always a step up system. There's always results to get, so which is why it is a really good thing. There's so many different things that, that you can do. So like I said, I'm just gonna leave that on now. And then just before I go to bed, I'll apply. These are my usual actives that I use. So my eye gel, then my AVST5 mixed in. Thank you.